ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start off with a little pre-entertainment like is known for Osborne because we have some very talented uh, pianists in our school and we're going to let them play for you.
strolling and rocking into this Christmas season. Normally at concerts, we do the next piece towards the end, but it doesn't change the effect, and it doesn't change who we want to honor. The next piece is salute to America's finest. If you have served, or are serving, or a family of those who have served, this piece is to honor you. We play this every year to honor our veterans, each branch of the military. And we're going to open, pretty much open our concert with it tonight, because we, we want to go back and play some of what we did for Veterans Day, because although it's wonderful having Lakeside with us and putting 60 players in front of the veterans. It is just as much of an honor for me to present my kids to you to honor those same veterans. So, with no further ado, this is Salute to America's Finest.
flags in. Um, we played the beginning of the Nathan Hell trilogy. Now, both Lakeside and the Mice favorite of this, um, which we chose not to play that day, is the second movement of this. Um, it's the slower, mu slower movement of this. And if anybody knows my band and myself, you know we like the slow music. And so we're going to play the first and second movements of Nathan Hill Trilogy. I would ask that you hold your applause until the end of the piece, until we play both movements.
um, honor of this summer at KBA, Kansas Bandmasters uh, Convention, to meet a brand new composer that wrote this piece. And I thought, you know, we need to support, just like we need to support small businesses in this time, these small new composers need to be supported too. And therefore, in starting to teach my sixth grade what a march looks like, what Veterans Day at Osborne looks like, we're going to play. Here is the turn. <laughs> Thank you. 
the hardest concert or the most technically challenging or the I pick after we finish Veterans Day, I picked fun. I went for things that did challenge some people, but ultimately I picked a lot of stuff that's at sixth grade level. Just for my big kids, you know, just to have a little fun. And but to do a good job. And to show the and to help the younger kids come up. So this next piece, March into Christmas, combines God Rest Me, Merry Gentlemen, and O Come All Ye Faithful. Or not, yeah. I don't know. All right.
So I might have had to recruit, I, I don't know if these look, I don't think they look like sixth graders, but they did offer to help because in sixth grade I don't have any flutes and I only have one long gentleman clarinet player and I offered him a little help on this piece. And of course I had to, uh, Donovan Holloway came down sick today and uh, he was, um, a drummer on six different pieces of the 15 were playing tonight. So I had to recruit a snare drum player. We'll see if he can hold up. Here we go. This is Winter Wonderland.
good teacher taught me that you should play a march, you should play a ballad, and you should play something transcribed. Something transcribed means something old. Bach, Beethoven, um, to show, because you can't know where music is going if you don't know where music came from. And that's what this next piece is, Corral King of Glory. Uh, it was originally uh, written by Johann Sebastian Bach and then transcribed into band because obviously we have no strings in this room. Gee, I'm so sad. Not really. I like strings, just not if I had to teach them because I can't feel my hands, so why would I be able to teach them? But I picked this piece for a very specific reason. Yes, I can tell. Well, see, it's got this pretty cool clarinet part in it. And somebody thought she wanted a band scholarship. So two weeks ago, um, I had the director from Sterling College come here, and we played for him. She played for him, and she's now getting a band scholarship at Sterling. My hip is super aggravated with this weather. But I was going to tell you if I couldn't direct, let me say, you know, I tell these kids all the time and they can tell you if I've done my job, they don't need me. I'm just a monkey waving a stick. <laughs> and I, I believe that and I stand by that because that means they have to work together. Well, on this police, not only does Trinity have some big feature stuff, Tiana Luters on flute has a flute trombone feature, but you don't see a trombone up here. And it's really hot. And the piece I played when we opened this morning about as high as, it's higher than most of these guys back here want to play. And so I said, you know, I don't have to direct. I can play with her. And that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and so this piece, this piece is a very, um, it's all in four major phrases, but if they don't breathe together, they don't play together. And they have done such an amazing job. But for some of these, I've been working with eight, eight years. So this is Corral, King of Glory.
good chance that uh, the band director from Colby Community College may be watching this. Um, and I had to reach out a favor, and so she loaned, I don't know if anybody, if you know what this is, but this is a valve trombone. And I have another band member in this band that's working towards a band scholarship, and if he gets it, he will be playing valve trombone at Pratt. So, Chris Heiss is working towards making sure we get it, and so I borrowed this so he could practice. I seem to play on it as much as he does. So, I, I swear by, I probably wouldn't have got where I was if it wasn't for having scholarships um, in college. And if you're going to, especially if you're going to a community college, man, band and music, the arts, it's where to go to get a scholarship. Um, it can pay your tuition. Yeah, tuition isn't ten thousand dollars or twelve or fifteen like it is at big universities. But if you can go to a JUCO and pay almost nothing to go there because you do something in the arts, you can't count that as a wrong. And so I really encourage these guys go find the music scholarships, the band scholarships, choir, whatever it may be. You can't play sports forever unless you're a pro athlete, and you're not playing forever. But I played with 90-year-old men that can outplay me because they can play for nearly forever of their lives. So uh, the next piece I talked just a moment ago about um, that you should do this and this and this in a concert. Well, we're going to do a march of sorts. We took. We're going to take a pretty famous. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Stars and Stripes Forever. I, I don't know. It, is it our national march? I think it might be. I, you know, it's not one we know very well, is it? Right. Um, but then we combine it with Jingle Bells. <laughs> so this is Jingle Bells Forever.
song uh, we're going to play, we, my band's along the years have happened to like it, and it just seems to keep, it's one of those traditional things we just keep doing, and this time is no different. Um, some of you may not know what this song is until you hear it, but uh, the name of the song is Green Sleeves. For those of you who don't know, this is also what shot this is. Thank you. 
Thank you.